Hello and welcome back to Modern Society Info. In our last video, we covered the first six rules in Jordan Peterson's book, 12 Rules for Life, An Antidote to Chaos. Today, we're continuing our journey and exploring the last six rules. Let's dive right in with Rule 7. Rule 7, to pursue what is meaningful, not what is expedient, is all about finding your purpose and focusing on what truly matters to you. Peterson argues that true happiness and fulfillment come from pursuing what is meaningful, rather than just taking the easy path. To put it into context, let's say you're offered a high-paying job that you're not passionate about. Sure, it's expedient in the sense that it pays well, but is it meaningful to you? Peterson would say no. He would encourage you to find a job that aligns with your values and interests, even if it pays less. By pursuing what is meaningful, you'll find a sense of purpose and fulfillment that money can't buy. Rule 8. Tell the truth, or, at least, don't lie. Rule 8 is about the importance of honesty and integrity. Peterson believes that telling the truth is essential for building trust and creating strong relationships. Imagine a situation where your boss asks you if you completed a task. If you lie and say you did, you might get away with it in the short term, but in the long term, your lie will catch up with you and damage your reputation. On the other hand, if you admit that you didn't finish the task, your boss will appreciate your honesty and you'll have the opportunity to make it right. Honesty is not always easy, but it's essential for building trust and maintaining healthy relationships. Rule 9. Assume that the person you are listening to might know something you don't. Rule 9 is about the power of humility and open-mindedness. Peterson encourages us to approach others with the assumption that they might have valuable insights to share. Let's say you're in a conversation with someone who disagrees with you. It's easy to get defensive and dismiss their opinions, but what if they have a valid point that you're not considering? By approaching the conversation with an open mind and assuming that the other person might know something you don't, you'll be able to learn and grow from the experience. Rule 10. Be precise in your speech. Rule 10 is about the importance of clear communication. Peterson argues that precise language is essential for effective communication and avoiding misunderstandings. Let's say you're giving directions to a friend. If you're imprecise and say, take a left at the next street, your friend might not know which street you're talking about. But if you're precise and say, take a left at Elm Street, there's no room for confusion. By being precise in your speech, you'll be able to communicate effectively and avoid misunderstandings. Rule 11. Do not bother children when they are skateboarding. Rule 11 emphasizes the importance of allowing individuals to pursue their interests and passions without interference. When we encourage and support others to engage in activities that bring them joy and fulfillment, we foster a sense of community and contribute to their overall well-being. Rule 12. Pet a cat when you encounter one on the street. The final rule encourages individuals to seek out moments of joy and beauty in their daily lives. By embracing simple pleasures and taking the time to appreciate the world around us, we can cultivate a sense of gratitude and cultivate a positive outlook on life. Whether it's petting a cat or taking a walk in nature, it's important to take the time to enjoy the small things in life. In closing, the last six rules of Jordan Peterson's 12 Rules for Life offer a unique perspective on how to live a meaningful and fulfilling life. By being precise in our speech, supporting others in their passions, and embracing simple moments of joy, we can cultivate a sense of purpose and resilience that will carry us through even the toughest of times. We hope this video has provided you with a deeper understanding of these rules and the impact they can have on our lives. Thank you for watching and don't forget to take some time today to pet a cat or engage in an activity that brings you joy. Tell us what book you would like us to review next in the comments section.